some salt the sun Some salt the smoke Some hurt the gun Some bend the bow Sometimes the Injected with the itself up with answers. Getting more into a sprint. After a while, it was as if all were deliberate escape from the encroaching touch of a big finger that nobody can seize. No touch of blame, but flame. All things sat before themselves, confused, and started shifting. From a distance, perhaps the specific location, the edge of a bed on the world, the length of telephone wire, against gray sky in the context of a gas station, the jerks of motion from a distance resembling stirring paramecium. But what, 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 what was it that? Uh, for no purpose. Besides, in the need found in reckoning, what before were themselves all things. But just observe the beginning again and the duty to move and reanimate forever. Independent. What who made them grope for parallels to get from Twain. This landscape made of paragraphs of sun and water. Thus assumed a disguise to all the things these were. As if to slay by recognizing the thought had sustained in the meanwhile in that dumb obeisance. Yes. Justify those stupid mocking desires given to their dwelling before they knew they dwelled. I guess that is to clarify, I guess with attempts at clarity, I guess, I guess, but fervidly, already murdered by the sudden lazy stretch of consciousness like a kid on the couch before his doctor's mouth. Things blankly drawing themselves to life upon the knowledge of what nasty slash beautiful things they are where before all the all, all things knew they would have to hinge on that. The rank of the giver of the urge to know, independent of knowing. The rock, the tree, some water, that existence. And making paragraphs as if to more life than previous, as if to celebrate. <laughs> That freedom to carry, to carry away from the, off from the rigors of that finger, shape of sun and no shape of the sun, but all things have the abrupt responsibility to take steps of their own upon the ought to sit before themselves, compelled by boredom, what all things had been in motionless, motionless forever, now only could not be. Consciousness is sense of time. And thus, if it's, if it's wasting, all things, rock, tree, we're compelled, too, to go whereabouts their desire bid. But to their resentment, the finger had a hand, or maybe it did. Clues enough to this, to never still the feeling of puppetry, that if given this at all, was a test theater. A thing so salient to the very nostrils rush, and all yet so unspectacular on its own. So much to change about it. Now this effect of time solely. <laughs> so then, perhaps the drawing finnegan drafts of paragraph. <laughs> Would not seem so much the dull heiress of some shitty awareness but rather a therapy to see themselves from the largest index is con touch on control what as well be resultant of the sensing at the least of some ethic built 
unseen before these things, these objects, like forgetting. They had and will, though given it by flames that knew better the conditions of it all we have as answers, to fade out that superfluity, rather, a name for us, embroidered upon the hills of Hollywood. A place where each thing could squat, never molder. Ironically, a similar condition. This one we all had huddled in place for eons like forgetting. And the things were things. Even before any superfluity. Middle God. Sitting in repose on his own analyst's couch. Gave them all things urge to name themselves. Differently, just to escape its own hankering on reality.